These are the directions for workplace 3D decimals more or less. The materials each player will need to play this workplace would be two decimal more or less record sheets, two sets of base 10 area pieces, one spinner overlay, and one more or less die. Players will roll the more or less to determine whether they will play more or less in the first round. They will circle the more or less word written on the record sheet to show which one was rolled. Players will spin the more or less spinner and the player with the larger number will go first. I tossed the dice and I got a more and I spun the spinner and I got a four. Since I got a four, I can put it in the tenths place and we're playing for more so I could still get a five to put in the ones place and put the four strips to show four tenths. So I will have my four strips right here show I have four sets of ten. So I'm going to go ahead and decide and put my four in the tens place. Then player two will take those exact same steps to compete to try to get more than the number I made. Players will continue taking turns until they both have three spins. After each spin the players will decide where to place a new number, and set out the base 10 area pieces to show the value of the number. This workplace is really good because we can practice saying our decimals and their values while playing the workplace. Depending on what was rolled in the beginning, in this case we rolled more, the player with the higher score would win the round. But if we were to roll less, the player with the lower score would win the round. Both players will mark the winner on the round on their record sheet. Players will start the next round by rolling the more or less die one more time and spinning the spinner until they've completed all four rounds on the sheet. These are the end of the directions for workplace 3D decimals more or less. If you're looking for different variations of this game, players can determine how much the winner won each time by using the difference between the numbers of the score. After the four rounds, players can just add those numbers and then roll the more or less die to determine the overall winner.